Before Brett Michael suits up for the Celebrity Apprentice, he tears up Sunset Boulevard as the frontman for 80s glam rock band Poison. The teased out hair, the eyeliner, and signature bandana makes him a surprising sex symbol in the 1980s. These guys wore lots of makeup and had huge hair and leggings, you know, all these things that we would consider to be feminine, yet everything else about them was hyper-masculine. The 1980s at the age of excess, where everything is turned up to 11. And hair bands embody this gluttony. Raucous music, bad boy antics, and celebrated sexual conquests. In the 70s, it was you know, bell bottoms, no makeup, no bras. And then in the 80s, the hair bands of the 80s were Twisted Sister, Poison, Rat, Motley Crue, and Kiss. It's almost like it has to reject the thing that came before. The Motley Crue types who are wearing the makeup, the lipstick, they are tapping into this notion that, yes, I got lipstick on, but I'm also tough and I can kick your butt. Just like Elvis in the 1950s, the guys of glam rock represent danger and rebellion, which is the core of being a sex symbol. The fear that's associated with the sex symbol is a fear of losing control. Yeah. It's the fear of giving yourself up. It's the same reason why we like horror films, why we like roller coasters. We tend to be drawn to those things that can't be defined. And that takes a lot of courage to do something that doesn't fit into that which is already there. They become a time capsule almost as to what the cultural bellwether is for that time and really where the sexual mores are at that time. 